Hi, I'm Bev Johns, and for f the last 40 years, I've worked with children who have very significant behavioral problems. And my co-authors, Donna Lynn Heisey and Adrienne Hunter, were teachers in the field of art education. All of us were working with children who had experienced psychological trauma. Uh, and we said it was really important for us to talk about uh, the challenges and yet the hope uh, that we have for working with children uh, with psychological trauma. So the book is practitioner-based because all three of us uh, have worked with children with who have experienced trauma. So we've been there and we've done that and we wrote it so that we could reach out to other teachers and share all of the experiences that we had had uh, working with children. The title of this book is Art for Children Experiencing Psychological Trauma. And you'll find in this book all kinds of activities uh, and ideas and information about the many children that we have in schools who are and who have experienced psychological trauma. There are a number of chapters dealing with pressing issues that our educators face in the schools from homelessness to physical abuse to sexual abuse uh, to uh, other topics and behavioral strategies. Each chapter in the book has a variety of strategies that a teacher could use. When we wrote the book, we originally designed it for those teachers who were actually teaching art. And then we realized and got a lot of positive feedback that there were a number of teachers who might be the fifth grade teacher, who might be the, the sophomore English teacher, who found that they could use use art uh, as a way for children who had experienced trauma to express their feelings in an appropriate way. We have many children coming into schools who have experienced psychological trauma. Uh, the numbers are that one in four children by the time they're four years of age have experienced an ad what we call an adverse childhood experience. And there are 46 million children who have experienced some type of psychological trauma uh, throughout the United States. And because of that, uh, what we were finding in the schools was was that a number of our children came to school and they had a mask on. And they had a mask that was either angry or a mask that was sad. And we said to ourselves, it's really important to figure out why these children are wearing this mask. What is the underlying reason? What are the past experiences that some of the children had? And we really wanted to capture that uh, in this book book. And at the same time, we recognized that schools have this wonderful avenue uh, that they can utilize to reach children who have experienced psychological trauma, and that avenue is art. Uh, there are no, unlike in math and English, there are no right or wrong answers in art. It gives children who have gone through some very adverse experiences in their lives the chance to to express themselves uh, without judgment, uh, and it gives children the opportunity for a cathartic experience where they can be creative and yet they can still get their feelings out. So we wrote the book not only for those individuals who are teaching art all day long, but we also wrote the book for those individuals who can incorporate art into math, into English, into writing, in a variety of ways, how could they reach out to children who had experienced psychological trauma uh, through the wonderful vehicle that we all have in the schools, and those are uh, the visual arts. And so that was our intent uh, with this book, to really help all educators as they work uh, with children who have experienced trauma.